Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Stomp the Idiot. I am the huge one again, the idiot, Dave Coco from DaveCocoSports.com. We are live on Twitch Coco Sports as we are joined by my tag team partner, very special day because it's my first stream partner so this is gonna be up 24 hours later and uh, we're doing stumped idiot with my partner on youtube coco sports archived of course because you know all the stuff has to go through twitch first of course of course of course and boom boom welcome to stumped idiot first time caller long time listener <laughs> all right this one is from golden star alex we're, we're, we're teaming up, man. We're doing pretty goddamn good so far. All right, here's the tweet. Ready? Stumped idiot. Maybe Boom Move wants to join in. Booms, you want to join in? You in? Are you in? Are you fucking in, Booms? When international travel lighten up, do you think AEW could book and fill a venue in Japan? Use the guys like Omega, Jericho, Pac, etc. All right. Uh, first off, uh, Japan travel has almost come to a complete stop. Um, to what I know in the news, because of how low our numbers are, they are not letting people fly in and out. So this will have to be a while and it won't be a kingdom, but hopefully one day the world will get back to normal. Um, when it does lighten up, do you think AEW can book and fill a venue in Japan using guys like Amer uh, sorry, Omega, Jericho, Pac, etc. Boom, boom. You're the guest for the first time ever on Stump the Idiot. What is your opinion on this? Well, I mean, realistically, like if we're talking like in real life, could they do? I would say they would not. I, I think what they would do is they're so eager to work with New Japan, they would loan them a lot of guys. They would loan them people like Omega. They would loan them people like Chris Jericho. And then they would... Um, probably show off you know some other other stars they have i can imagine mjf going out there getting heat let me see like the lucha brothers um maybe letting having a women's match to see how that goes so i could see them doing that now if this is just hypothetically hypothetical like let's just say there's no toes getting stepped on here and it's just aew going to like what cork and hall cork and or, hall yeah yeah, something like that. I, I don't know, because I don't know how well-received AEW is in Japan. I don't know how much coverage they actually get. I mean, it, I know you could probably watch it, but you have to watch it through something like Fight or something. I don't know how niche it is in, in Japan. It's not like a big global brand like, you know, WWE. So uh, it, it, go ahead, it, sir. Yeah, go ahead. No, 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 I'll let you finish because I'm about to I was going to say, it really depends on how, you know, how well they're their their product is able to see because if they you know have like a normal like on a rig on a good channel at a good hour they had a decent fan base i would say they've got a shot at it but otherwise i would say probably not um i i agree with some and that um there's a couple factors in this it depends on the venue um the, it, to watch it in japan you need it to be fight tv um, and the streams are crystal clear. When I go through Fight TV, uh, my watch parties on Twitch.tv, Coco Sports are amazing. When I don't go through Fight TV, they are uh, adventurous. So Fight TV does an amazing job. Um, with that said, they would definitely sell out Cork and Hall. Uh, the smaller venues in Japan, they would. A Tokyo Dome outside of Tokyo, a big stadium like Yokohama, that's a tougher call, um, and it depends on how often they came. Uh, if you came just once, people would come and see you. If you came more often, they wouldn't. Um, New Japan is a huge factor. Now we're talking Tokyo Dome, the granddaddy of them all, if you will, as far as Japan standards. I don't think they could sell that out without teaming up with New Japan. Um, so... But there's a huge difference between Cork and Hall and the Tokyo Dome. Or, you know, the fight, you know, and the big stadiums, they can't do without New Japan. The smaller stadiums, I think they can, but they can't come every month. Like, if they came, if they came four times a year, they wouldn't sell out. But if they came once a year, 
definitely they would sell out. So the size of the stadium matters and working with New Japan matters. And yeah, it's because here's the thing. Cork and Hall is right in the center of fucking Tokyo. It's small. It's near the Tokyo Dome. I mean, so many people walk by that place. You just see AEW American product. Come watch it. They'll fucking sell out. I mean, TNA sold out for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? And I don't even think they had a television deal. It was just like, okay, yeah, I'll go see these guys. And also the talent on there. Uh, there's people that still love Kenny Omega. Jericho's a god. Pac, he's not at that level, but you would get the Dragon Gate fans. So, um, but yeah, I think it depends on the stadium. The bigger stadiums, I think they would do New Japan's help. But like Boom Boom said, they are going to work together and work hard. Uh, Golden Star Alex, the guy who sent it, said, Hello, YouTube, it's me again. The only guy who keeps trying to keep Stumped Idiot alive. It's true. Big salute. Also, the question will totally not be dated in a few months. Great job, me. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We, it's just great. We're making YouTube content. We just got to be Twitch partner. We miss you, YouTube. Uh, we'd send this earlier on Twitch, but we'll repeat it for YouTube. Boom Boom's life has been super successful and busy. And my life has been mostly Twitch and getting ready for retirement. We're hoping to do a lot more uh, YouTube videos in the future. Uh, we do have to wait 24 to 48 hours to post them, but we are always live for AEW uh, Rampage. And in four months, we're going to do a lot of AEW, Japanese sports, NHL, and uh, New Japan. So expect big things. Sorry we have to put you on hold. Uh, Hard K67 said wonderful things about us on Twitter. And it kind of motivated us. Kind of motivated us. Booms, any last words for Twitch and YouTube? Well, first YouTube. Then we can see Twitch later. YouTube, uh, I hate that they got rid of, like, they, they kept the dislike button, but they don't show you how many downvotes something got. I hate that. Um, I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but I hate that on YouTube. Yeah. Um. I, uh, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. They're only doing stuff to protect the elite. They're not doing, like, they sell it as they're protecting us. We've had so many fucking, uh, we had so many, what's what I'm looking for, down votes from pirators, from people that hate us. And it never bothered the product. Um, I don't think it hurts little guys as much as it hurts big guys. You know, um, I, not once did the dislike bar ever, ever convince me not to do anything. Uh, but if you're a politician, big company, Disney, Facebook, Twitter, and they're just dunking on you. Um, yeah, the, the dislike bar, bar is definitely to protect the big guys, not to protect the little guys. That's just fucking 100. Same thing with Twitter. Same thing. You know, it's just basically protecting the big guys, which I wouldn't mind if they were just honest. They protect the big guys, the politicians, the movies, the, you know, giant corporations. And they're like, oh, we're doing it for the little guy. No, you're not. Don't say that. Just tell the truth. Be like, Disney doesn't like it when you fucking destroy a film. Uh, politician doesn't like it if you have more dislikes. You just say the truth. Sometimes it's okay to say the truth, YouTube. Um, with that, here's my truth. Our algorithm sucks. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell. I haven't, dude, I haven't been on YouTube in a while. I forgot about the notification bell. Scrub in Japan is in the house, boys. Scrub in Japan. Love you, brother. Joey Poeter. That dislike button was to protect Disney. Yeah, and Netflix. Agree. What did you do for a living before this? Um, I was a Marine infantry. I was a radio, television, sports guy. I owned my own business and I've also been a teacher and yes, I don't curse in front of the kids. Cause usually that comes next. They're like, wait, everything says 18 and up on your channel. Do your kindergarten kids say, no, you say fuck John Cena. I'm like, no, they don't. It doesn't come up in class. <laughs> All the star Wars stuff. Fans don't like it's voted. I just like the new master universe. 2016 ghostbusters as well. Some of the most downvoted stuff all time on YouTube. Yeah. And my whole thing is, here's the difference. They have all the power. If they just came and said, hey, 
we're getting rid of dislikes because giant corporations, politicians, and and Hollywood don't like it. I honestly just think we would take it a lot better. You know what I mean? I I don't know, mm -hmm. Booba. Wouldn't you take it a lot better than saying it's for the little guy? Yeah, I mean, I, I just wish they'd be honest. Yeah, you know when we were getting when we were getting bombarded by people that wanted us to pirate stuff instead of review stuff. Where were you then? Then all of a sudden, a guy with mouse ears who wants you to vote for him for four more years while his social media takes over the world. Then, oh yeah, you'll protect him. Don't fucking lie. It wasn't for the little guys. Me and Boom Boom were bombarded by pirators, and we kept going forward. So can Disney. That's it. Shit. Damn, shit got real. What was the original question? <laughs> Where did you do radio and sports? I did it in Tampa. Uh, let me see. I got a picture of me on sports desk with the Stanley Cup. So I, I I was in the Tampa Bay area. I also Oh, and I also worked in pro wrestling. I worked for every major company. And I'm also a novelist. So what I do for a living is a lot. But yeah, there I am on sports desk in Tampa with Lord Stanley when I was a young man. Yeah. This part of the video is totally related to the title. You still teach for four more months. I retired two years ago, um, but I still teach because the school I worked for treated me tremendously and they needed something during, you know, the downtime when the world was going wacky. But now that Japan is probably one of the safer countries in the world, it's like, no, nope, I don't think you need to be anymore. So young, so fat, so angry. Oh my God, you look like a baby. I've worked for WWE, yes, sir. So I've worked for every major company, not AEW because I was out of wrestling by then and not Ring of Honor, but Ring of Honor was always kind to me. Um, I used to run ACW. I worked with FIP, but they, uh, we, we, we had a fallout out. Yeah. So remember folks, this was originally a stump the idiot. Yep. So let's recap. When international travel lights up, do you think AEW could book and... Uh, fill a venue in Japan using guys like Omega, Jericho, Pac, etc. I say by themselves, yes, small ones like Corkin, maybe even a sumo hall, but I don't know. My confidence drops. A big, the big events, you definitely need uh, New Japan's to help. All right, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, Twitch. Uh, let's see, what's Denver say? Hi, I'm new to Twitch user. Hi, I'll watch your stream for many hours and many minutes. Thank you, Denver. Thank you so much. That means the world. All right, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Twitch, you stay right there because we're going to keep talking. YouTube, check out Twitch, Coco Sports. They're showing me some love. All right, love you, dudes. Boom, boom. With that, we are over. Ba -na 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 -na.